We all heard male voices down there, right? It's fluctuating, which is not normal. Tony, are you here? Yeah. I think I just seen something down here. I don't know, a small flash of light. Why have you chosen to remain here? And that uh, phantom priest has been seen walking around this area too, which is interesting. Thank you for tuning into Amy's Crypt. I'm currently in the Philippines, standing in front of the old Diplomat Hotel, which I've just gained special access to from the city to enter at night. So we're gonna head in and do some paranormal investigations. Alright guys, so we're just inside the old Diplomat Hotel, we're about to continue our investigation. If you guys haven't done so already, go check out my part one video because we're just picking up where that one left off. We are about to head upstairs here because we heard some very interesting and strange noises uh, while we were investigating downstairs. So we're going to go suss out what they were. Uh, I'm going to link that video below for you guys though. Okay guys, so picking up where we left off, we were just down here. That's where the water fountain is. It's also the place where a lot of people were drowned, tortured, executed, including children and babies. When we were down there, reaching out, we could hear some noises coming from up here, mostly scratching, tapping kind of noises. I just want to do a walk around and see like if we get swooped by a bat or like maybe there was something up here, you know what I'm saying? So we'll just keep walking um, in the part one video, I'll show you guys inside this room down here and then we'll go in that one shortly. That is a very interesting and maybe one of the scariest rooms here as well so is there someone up here with us I just seen this guy's face as we walked down the hallway. And this is some kind of art installation. We didn't actually explore this much today. Okay, let's keep walking around, I guess. This looks like a heart almost. There is a, 
a little tiny insert up here. Can you see him? Mm -hmm. I don't, I mean, I'm oh, sorry buddy. I don't know that a little lizard like that could make a noise as large as the one that we heard downstairs, but maybe it's worth pointing him out. No bats or anything. All right, guys, we're about to head into the office and workspace of Tony Eggbauer, who, if you watched part one video, you'll know as the fake healer. He's like a psychic healer and brought terminally ill people into this hotel for the reason of treatment of their disease or ailments. And a lot of that went on in this room. The scariest part about this room is this is also where he died. So not only did he die in here, he died under strange circumstances. So he is said to have had some kind of heart attack that some people believe had a supernatural uh, aspects to. So apparently he began screaming, crying in pain in this, in this room. Some people ran to help him but were blocked at the door. It was an unseen presence blocking them from entering. That presence only disappeared when his scream stopped. People entered and it was too late. He had already died. Apparently during the autopsy, it appeared as though his heart had been physically squeezed and like crushed. So that's kind of strange and it's interesting to think about what kind of entities may be here other than maybe just spirits and maybe it was a disgruntled spirit. I have no idea. Anton, do you have any uh, ghost stories or like paranormal occurrences within this very room that people, maybe people have cited or? Well, according to some people, like really good thing I mentioned earlier, there were guards that used to control this place at night and what would happen is um, they come inside and then what they would do is normally they'd see somebody just standing near the fireplace. Yeah. And what would happen is one of the guards actually approached this entity and tried to communicate with it, but he thought it was a person and turns out it was a ghost. It kind of scared him. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, it made him enough enough for him to not want to do what night just patrols what yeah. normally he's supposed to do. Which I am blaming him. Right. And this is an active form of ghost. Fluctuating, which is not normal. Should we put it on? Yeah. Put it down somewhere. Sure. Okay, so that was um, Anton's uh, EMF detector on his iPad. That was just fluctuating then, which is a bit odd. So just set it up on the fireplace. Now this is the only room in the old diplomat hotel that has a fireplace. And as Anton was just saying, there has been guards who have sighted a man standing here. Maybe it could be Tony. This is where he died. Maybe his spirit still lingers here. Do, do people believe that Tony is still here, Anton? A lot of people do believe that his spirit is still stuck in this place. And apart from him, is that they believe that his victims are also stuck here. They can't move oh, on. Oh, okay. So Tony, along with his victims, or like he's, the, he's that basically he... keeping them here for forever. Oh, so they're trapped yeah. at the result of him. So. Tony as a spiritual healer was, I guess, a little bit fraudulent, you know, um, claiming to heal these people with these illnesses and a lot of them died within the hotel as well, which is interesting and sad. Tony, are you with us? Tony, we know that you shown yourself to people in this room before. Can you show yourself to us or come close to me so that you can approach this lit up screen on your fireplace? Tony, do you believe that you were healing people? Or did you know that you 
were lying to them and conning them. Can you give us a sign to whoever you're in this room with us? Why won't you let your patients leave? How many of them are trapped here with you? try a spirit box in this room. In my last episode, my spirit box acted quite strange. Um, so let's see what it does now. Alright, so this is a spirit box session in the old Diplomat Hotel where you are in Tony's room. My spirit box miraculously sounds normal now. Are there any spirits in this room with me? Can you please come forward, make your presence known? Tell me your name or say hello. What does it stop filming? I thought I heard something filming too. Tony, are you here? Yes. Yes. Are you one of, that sounded like a female voice. Are you one of Tony's patients? Could you tell me your name? How many spirits are here? Clutching at straws, yeah. eh? <laughs> Tony, if you're here, can you come close to me and use the device in my hands to say your name really clearly? Tony isn't here, I want to talk to anybody that died in this hotel that was being treated by him. When were you at this hotel? What year? Do you believe that Tony's treatment worked? I think I just seen something down here. Like a light. Maybe it was your light reflecting in my eyes or something. It looks like, I don't know, a small flash of light. Maybe it was reflecting on my chair. I could have swore I heard um, a response. Um, it was in Tagalog. Uh, it said, Isan month. That means one month. Oh. One month? Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. I, I, I could I, be wrong. It could be like, you know. I heard like, it was so weird. Like, you were getting like, like normally you get, you can, when, when we're doing the spirit box, you get a lot of music and talk back but in this one like we straight off the bat you got like three like yeah you got quite nice. succinct very distinctive yes 
I didn't see the light, to be honest. I have my eyes closed when I'm filming Amy do the spirit box because then I'm, the I'm trying to listen. Me, please. Yeah. I don't know. It could have been like yeah. your light patch yeah, yeah, yeah. like one tear or something. But I had to see. Yeah, I didn't see it. I normally have my eyes closed when I'm filming you do spirit box because it helps me listen. <laughs> That was, should I keep going for a little bit longer? Or yeah. I might just go for a little bit longer. The spirit box guides, we, I got distracted because I thought I'd seen a little ball of light, but it could have been Anton's light reflecting on my blonde hair. <laughs> I don't know. It was odd, but I um, don't think it was anything abnormal. If there are any, any spirits here, that were treated by Tony or stayed in this hotel. Maybe you were a nun or a priest. Maybe you were here during the war. Come close and feel free to communicate with us. Who are you? What happened to you here? Were you sick? Can you tell me what was wrong with you? Why are you still here at the Diplomat Hotel? Are you trapped? Why can he not leave? Could you say your name? It would be nice to know who we are talking to. terrible at listening to them in the moment but we will be reviewing this footage and seeing if uh, we picked up any other words phrases particularly things that were relevant to what we were asking if you guys hear something make sure you leave me a comment and let me know what it is that you heard all right so we're gonna just keep going way 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 up to the top we're gonna go all the way to the roof because it has a fantastic view and I just want to see that <laughs> at night it should be really lovely That's a cat. Okay, cat. we just sent a white cat, guys. So. Cat. <laughs> Kitty. Kitty cat. <laughs> That's the girl, and the first partner is the black cat. Oh, really? Yeah. All right, guys. This is an awesome view up here. This is magic. You can see the whole city. <laughs> and it looks way cooler because we're in the mountains, so it's just sprawled across all these hills. Might just stay up here or not. <laughs> also guys, it is a very full moon tonight. Some people, you know, follow the moon and its cycles. I don't know much about it, but maybe that will mean that we'll get lucky with the ghosts tonight. <laughs> so yeah, in addition 
to this great view. We also have a phantom black priest who's seen roaming around here. And from the front near the cross is where some priests were executed by hanging and supposedly people have captured what looks like a person hanging from the front of the old diplomat hotel um, in some images, which is particularly creepy. All right, guys, so we're standing on the very top of the roof and I can see down to the bamboo structure that is an art installation surrounding one of the two water fountains here. You can also kind of see through some of the boarded off windows where, actually they're not boarded off, are they? through some of the windows where they're working and this place is actually blocked from entry over there just down here as well it's pretty high up pretty crazy drop down to the floor but we are also on the roof and looking out you can see the whole city this is a bird's eye view of everything basically 360 smack in the middle of Baguio this is also why this place was so valuable, especially to the Japanese during the war, because it was, you can just see everything from every direction up here. We also have the famous uh, cross here. So that's pretty awesome to see that with the whole city. We're gonna walk around to the front. We're not on the very tippy top of the hotel anymore but this is still part of the roof I guess and that uh, phantom priest has been seen walking around this area too which is interesting but I want to go take a closer look at the original uh, cross that dresses the front of the building and which is the area where people were hanged which is very terrible Anyone else hear that? Nope. Might have been like super distant. It could have been like a tree branch breaking, but I heard something. Okay. And this thing is like original to the building, which was built in between 1913 to 1915, I believe. So it's pretty old and you can see the wear on it. That's crazy. So I just started a ghost tube session in part of the Diplomat Hotel, which is kind of on the roof. We're currently in a hallway, but this place is interesting because there is a black sort of shadow figure priest that walks and patrols this area. People who are security have sighted him uh, from the courtyard looking up to this area and seeing the priest walk down this hallway through where we are now. That's why we're choosing to reach out here. Hi, my name is Amy. I'm looking to make contact or talk to a priest that has been seen in this area. If you're here, don't be shy. We don't mean you any harm. Feel free to come close. We want to know what happened to you here. Are you able to let us know why you are still here? A lot of people have seen you in this area. Why do you hang around here? Why are you still in this very area? magnetic reading here. It's 
very stable in that maybe there could be something like in this wall. Yeah, I think I just found something magnetized, guys. 13th century. Okay, so we just got a word free on our ghost dictionary on this. Basically, that means that a uh, fluctuation in the environment triggered a word to appear from dictionary could be completely random and irrelevant. Well, you were holding that thing against that magnet. So it would have so. been flying around. Yeah. So. We can ignore that one, I think. Can you come close to me? Are you able to trigger this device for me? If you can walk towards me. some noises they sound distant one just sound like I don't know chains or something rattly can you make a noise for us can you knock on something What is your name? Are you happy being here? Stop recording. That wasn't this one. What does this mean? Well, it means it didn't work. You muffed up. So something just went wrong with the app. It's never done that before. It just closed. And now it's saying that investigation was corrupt. Okay, I don't know what to do. I'm just going to close uh, Maybe. YouTube. Maybe you could try it again. Maybe you start a new session again. Okay. This, it hasn't done that before, so you need to investigate that, Jerry. I'm still convinced about the whole priest knowing how to turn off a cell phone. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I, hey, who knows? <laughs> Probably sees enough people with cell phones. It's like, okay, I'm turning it off now. All right. All right. So I'm recording again. Did you just affect? This device in my hands. I just heard a noise behind me, but it sounded, I don't know. Maybe it's that cat. Can you come close to me? Please don't turn my app off again. Okay, I'm gonna stop recording anyway. I think that video saved and that worked fine. But I can hear those dogs still, so I think it might be better if we go back more inside so that we can get rid of external noises a bit more so. So we might head back onto one of the lower levels. So we're gonna head back downstairs to a room that uh, apparently a ghost has been sighted and that's kinda, that's gonna be fun. Right? Feel good about tonight. Oh my gosh. What? That painting down there. Uh. I thought that I had seen a ghost.
We are in a very interesting part of the old Diplomat Hotel. We're in one of the windows just at the front of it uh, that faces down into the main entrance. And this is a very cool place because um, our friend Anton from Pine City uh, Fright Tours was wrapping up one of his ghost tours downstairs in this area. And he had his back facing this very window. And all of the people on his tour saw a face from this window looking down at them. And this was after the hotel had been completely closed and locked up. There was no one in here. Some of them actually caught this face on camera and appeared to also wave. That's just like really crazy for that many people to see the same thing at the same time and even capture it on, in a photograph. I say maybe we reach out of this room, we're not sure who that spirit may be or if they're around at this time, but this is certainly like an interesting area for that. Alright guys, I'm about to do a spirit box session in the old Diplomat Hotel. This is in one of the rooms where a ghost has been sighted by numerous people at the same time and also captured in numerous photographs. Hi, my name is Amy. I'm looking to talk to a spirit that has been sighted by numerous people in this room. If there is a man here who has shown himself out of this window. Can you say hello? You seemed quite friendly waving to everyone downstairs. Why did you show yourself? Who are you? Why were you inside of this room? Can you show yourself to us? I seen the security guards down here a minute ago. So I don't know if they just were just Is there someone down there? We all heard male voices down there, right? I did see this. Uh, we, can, we can go down. Let's go towards the voices. How long have we been here? Oh, it's her. It's just the guards. It's the guards. Yeah. Yeah, so while we're doing the spirit box session, we had a couple of loud male voices downstairs. And we've just come out to investigate, and it was the security guards of the old diplomat. It looks like two of them just like walked in and walked out. So I guess they came in and were talking. So that was nothing paranormal or odd. They're probably just checking on us. Not being idiots in here or something. We weren't really getting too many responses, I felt, in that front room. So I don't think we will go back in and keep doing the spirit box. What is something worth mentioning and noting is that there is a, a cell phone tower and a radio tower that is in very close proximity to this hotel. 
So I'm not sure if that could interfere with this or produce radiation that may incite people to see things inside the hotel. There has been so many sightings here that it's crazy. All right, so I wanna point these guys out and I'll show you all in case you notice them in some of my shots and freak out thinking that it's a bit weird, but these are actually part of an art installation. They do look very creepy and sinister given the history and whatnot of this building, but they're not anything as sinister. Like, I think they're political, but they're not symbolic of graves or anything here. Right, we're just going to walk through some of the rooms and just have a general look around. This area over here is all closed off at the moment to the public. Um, they might be working on it, redoing it, kind of thing. So we can't really explore over there, can just kind of see through the windows. So there's a whole series of rooms here. I think this is like one of the grander rooms or one of the bigger rooms over there. Oh, right on the end? Yeah. yeah. Corner rooms are normally the good ones in the hotel. <laughs> you guys can also see like original flooring down here too. So that's kind of cool. A lot of these windows are just missing. Like this place was abandoned for a long time. I'm not really sure what would happen to all of them, but... So I just got super freaked out because I spotted that standee of the nun that, like, we showed you earlier. Oh, okay. Yeah, I yeah, was just... Yeah, funny enough, all these, like, normal, like, like typical paranormal investigators... You see that? paranormal investigators who work in the Philippines, what they do is they <laughs> up here and they see that and they say, Oh my god, I caught a nun! I caught a ghost with a nun! Yeah, it is. That's, like, creepy for you guys. What? Oh, what the hell is that? I think it's made out of wax. Candle wax. That's a, <laughs> it's a wax face. It's a wax face. <laughs> that is creepy. Some of these ones look like blood drops, but they're not wax, but it just looks like it's just wax. Yeah. Do people do like seances in here? <laughs> They're like, I'm gonna draw the face I of the person the I want to see. The, when the whole exhibition was going on, there were like people here who had to sit still, they couldn't move. And so I guess they probably got bored waiting for people to show up. <laughs> probably just like having a little fun. Oh, I see. All right, so I think we've made a pretty good clean sweep of the second floor area. So we're gonna head back down another one again. All right, you guys cannot tell me that this isn't creepy. All right, guys, so we are back in the one of the courtyards near the fountains at the Old Diplomat Hotel. I'm going to reach out and do another spirit box. The reason why I want to do another one of these in this exact spot is if you guys watch my part one video, you'll notice that this sounded odd. It was really quiet, much more than it usually is. And it sounded as though some words or segments of words were trying to come through and they were at a normal volume, but there was no static or anything else, any other sound coming through, which was odd. I knew it was odd at the time, but I was just like, let's just roll because there's some noises coming through that are loud. Went upstairs, exact same settings on the spirit box and it worked fine as it normally does. So I'm gonna try it again down here. And this is a place where a lot of crazy events actually went on. Um, people were tortured and murdered in this courtyard basically, particularly with the use of the water in this fountain. So let's give this a go. We also have this EMF detector on this iPad setup, so I don't know, maybe that will trigger something. 
but we will see. It's kind of doing the same thing again. Maybe, okay, I'm just gonna stop for a sec. This is doing the exact same thing as it was last time. So maybe there is something in this area that's affecting my speaker or the device to make it sound that way. I, I don't know. I'm still gonna proceed and see if we do capture voices because as I said earlier, there was some broken segments of words kind of coming through that were audible. And hey, it kind of takes out that static noise. So some people might actually enjoy listening to this. Okay, it's working now as normal, weird. Hello, my name is Amy. Are there any spirits in this courtyard or anyone in this courtyard that wants to communicate? Can you come close to us and say something? I would love to know what your name is. Can you uh, please let me know the reasons why you are at the old diplomat hotel? here for did you enjoy your time here or was it negative Why have you chosen to remain here? Are you a nun or a priest? Sound like priest I to me. thought I had priest. If you are a priest, can you tell me your name? Were you here during the war? Did somebody hurt you here? stuck here. Why do you hang around? Is this a happy or sad place for you? Thank you. 
Uh, so, I don't know. Did you guys hear Priest as well? I heard Priest, but other than that, it sounded like radio stations to yeah. me. Yeah, and maybe it was just something that we're yeah. just listening for Priest, you know what yeah, I'm you saying? you really want to hear <laughs> Priest. Or that, so. that session, though, sounded different to the ones we did upstairs, though. That one, the one that yeah. I found interesting was the one that said yes. Clear, yeah. Clearly said yeah. yes. The ones upstairs sounded different. This, this one sounded like radio station. stations. Yeah. yeah, this was the same exact settings I've had on all night. Yeah. So I don't know if it's like, I don't know, just different areas. I'm picking up different types of noises. Like it was really odd, the very first one that we did. So Where it didn't have the... Yeah, ch -ch 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 -ch. Or maybe like whatever was upstairs, the one that said yes. Was it here or is it upstairs? Uh, it, yes. it was upstairs, upstairs okay. in the um, Tony's room. I think room. maybe they just wanted to answer one question and they just probably felt, you know what, that's it. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yes, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, get out. Yeah. yeah. They didn't want to talk yeah. anything else. They maybe. weren't feeling that chatty. Yeah. So we'll, I'll definitely be reviewing all of the Spirit Box footage. There's always things that I miss in the moment. If you guys do hear anything that sounds relevant, uh, maybe you speak Filipino as well and you heard something come through in a different language, maybe even Japanese, Japanese military even occupied this place for a while. I'm not sure if anything else would have come through, but leave me a comment and let me know. All right, so just as we cut the camera, we're standing here talking and we heard a couple of loud like bangs. Uh, like wood, like heavy wood. Yeah, I wish we caught them on camera. It, I thought it was upstairs, but did you guys hear it come from this direction? In here or? More or less here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This side. This side? Yeah. 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 Is there someone here? Can you make that noise again? I don't think anyone's around. I don't think anyone out the window. So unless something just flew over. I don't know. It's quite a loud noise. Yeah. Can you make that sound again for us? It always happens as you stop recording and like stop paying total attention. Something in here might have just toppled, or I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Probably. Interesting. You guys can see, like, the windows are all open here, too, because it's like a ruined building, so there is potential for external noises to come in. And wind as well. Yeah, I guess that could be blown by something. I don't know what it could be, but I'm gonna see here again. Please do that again. Okay, do not do that again. Really? <laughs> okay, cut. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're now outside of the old Diplomat Hotel. Um, and I thought the last thing that we do would be to come and check out the morgue. Like, obviously, that's <laughs> a scary part of this place, right? down here there's like maybe old like foundations of the building this place was burnt down in the 80s and this is all that remains of it just this little block here which is actually a set of bathrooms but 
this was kind of like a unofficial morgue and was required because the man who was our friend Tony who was here during the 70s and was like a psychic healer had a lot of his patients pass away here since they were terminally ill so this was a place to kind of store them and stuff and as far as paranormal activity goes apparently there's been a nun sighted by a couple of people out here uh, usually in this area over here near a moth just attacked you <laughs> this area here near this big tree so it's kind of interesting and it's called dead man's tree dead man's tree i love that okay so it's a little bit too noisy out here by the morgue there's all these dogs going crazy so i probably won't do any experiments out here because it the, all this background noise is like reducing their validity so yeah we might just leave that um and head more around this front area all right guys so why i have a little bit of light and i'm outside i wanted to tell you and cover one of the very creepy things about the diplomat hotel that i haven't actually spoken about yet and that's mostly because we can't actually get down there to access it but this place is actually built on top of a type of aqueduct system and that is actually a lot of the reason why this place is so strong and reinforced and has managed to survive uh, not only bombings but a massive massive earthquake it's inaccessible now it's full of water and black mold so it's like all entrances are sealed and it's a no-no to go down there but when this place was occupied by the Japanese it was allegedly drained so they could go down and use that space and it almost acted as a type of prison or even a dungeon so you can just imagine like all of the history associated with this place already it also had a crazy dungeon underneath it so it's unfortunate like we can't get down there but I mean it's so dangerous it doesn't sound like somewhere we want to go so I just thought I would try and film uh, this window right here that I'm pointing at this is where Anton had conducted a ghost tour and a lot of the people on the tour seen a figure in there, a face. And it was a group of people that had sighted it and captured photographs of it even. It also waved at them and the building was completely empty. So, you know, it had all been closed up and, and whatnot. So that's pretty weird that there was a, would be a figure there. Hello. Can you please pop your head out? Okay. Thank you anyway. Oh, kitty. Hello. Hello. Kitty cat. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed these episodes inside the Old Diplomat Hotel, one of the most haunted places in the Philippines. I wanna give a shout out to Anton, my friend from Pine City Fright Tours, who does excellent tours of haunted places all around Baguio. If you guys did enjoy this video though, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you wanna read more about the Old Diplomat Hotel, head to amyscrypt.com. You guys can also find me at amyscrypt on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Until next time. <laughs>